Hello, friends. It is Denise from Loving Life at 60-ish, and it is Villain Day night. Oh, it's during the day that I'm filming this, but it won't go up until tonight. So, Villain Night. Yay! Um, so, uh, the villains I'm doing twice a month. And, um, one is just a regular video and the other is a live, a Saturday night live. So, uh, this one's obviously the regular video and I want to apologize. I have these adorable Cruella, uh, savings challenges that were, um, a download gift to me. And I took them out of here to uh, trim them and laminate them. And I left them um, over by the laminator out in the other room. Uh, not laminated yet. I was going to do it this morning and I forgot all about it. So I will introduce, I've showed you guys them, but I will introduce them um, in the live, I'll start using one of them. They are uh, scratch offs, so I've got to laminate them and put um, scratch off stickers on them. And um, yeah, so I'll be doing that, and they're real cute. Um, Cruella doesn't have a Dalmatian jacket on, she's considering a Holstein cow jacket instead. And then I have this the Disney Dorables. Um, and this was from Melinda and she wrote, she sent me an Amazon gift and said, hi, Denise, I saw this villains and thought you could use them for villain night. I really enjoy watching and just a little something to say thank you for being inspiring from Melinda. And that is just amazing to me. Um, I know I showed these one night too, um, in a video and so my grandson and I have discovered that getting into the Dorables is not an easy feat. And it's very hard to save the box. Um, they just do not make it. We've tried a box cutter. We've tried everything. Um, but basically, it's not easy. It's not easy being a villain either. So uh, I'm so excited because there we go. So these are called Disney Dorables and my grandson collects them. And I um, don't have any of my own, they're all his. So this one, is going to be my own, and I don't feel too bad because he's got this set. I um, I think it's a little different, but it's about the same characters and everything. So this, the other thing is, you guys, is uh, some of these, look, it's kind of a velvety hair. It is Lady Tremaine from Cinderella. We're just going to put them down here. And I mean, this is so like magical to be able to open these. And behind every door, there's a Dorable. And Eli and I do call them Adorables because let's admit it. Now, this one is glittery. So no velvet. Oh, yep. Captain Hook. Look at that. Look how glittery he is. And your girl loves glitter. I am a glitter person. I mean, it goes without saying since I make all those dresses for children's dress-up clothes. It's interesting. I went through my shop last night because I couldn't sleep. Trying to decide if there was any that I could start making again. And I, I just don't know that time is on my side. And I don't want to busy myself just because we've got a few days off. Um, so, I don't know. Uh-huh, that's my girl Ursula. And she scares the heebie-jeebies out of me. Look at her. 
She's got a purple face. So they're all made a little different. She's got kind of a glittery face. Whereas uh, Captain Hook here was glittery all over. And then Lady Tremaine had a soft kind of velvety hair. Melinda, you are so sweet. This is so fun because, you know, usually I have to share this, the spotlight with Eli with these. And I guess I could have waited and let him help me open them up. But eh. there we go. There's our girl. Cruella DeVille. Her eyes are glittery. There she is. Oh, there's Hades. Look at him. He's an angry man. Well, actually, I think he's a god, right? It says that I do have the extra one in here. Well, there's 12 of them. I guess that... But I, that one's the, oh, there is Maleficent. There she is. Oh, we always do this, get confused as to what ones we've opened. We take turns opening them and then we hide them from the person and try to make them guess who it is. <laughs> she is quite ugly. The Red Queen. Off with her head. Now, so far, we've used quite a few of these in... Uh, savings challenges for here. Jafar. I'm not sure if Eli's had Jafar in it. I'm going to have to look back and see. They did a great job on Jafar. <clears throat> All right. This one is an open door. I'm stumped. Why can't I remember? Oh, Yamatoa. Oh, yeah, it says right here. Tamatoa. Tamatoa. And I'm not sure, you guys, from... I'll have to look that one up. I don't, I don't think Eli got that one either. Because I don't remember it. Dr. Facilier. All right, these ones are all done. Uh, it's an awful lot of packaging here that I'm, that part does not thrill me. I'm going to leave one of them for my uh, yeah, my happy mail bag. Oh, Scar. And last but not least, one left. <laughs> I do like the green.
Aha, uh -huh. yes, it's your queen, the evil queen. Thank you so much. I love them. I love them. I love them. I get to uh, play with them when I come in here. And that is exciting to me. <laughs> I'm a little kid, guys. So I saved a couple of these baggies for my... Uh, <clears throat> I said it already. My... Um, Oh my goodness, you guys. I can't talk and think at the same time today. I saved one of the baggies for my happy mail binder. Let's see if they, I have $150. I'm just seeing if there's any star notes. Oh, there's a star five. I find a lot of star fives. Well, not a lot. I think I've got two. <laughs> I sound like I find a lot of star fives. Okay, that's one star note. So we'll take that and put it <coughs> with... The other, there's a Starbuck. There's another one. There's another one. Holy cow, you guys. That's crazy. I haven't, obviously, this is not recycled money. This is money that I just got. Um, so... I haven't had a chance, I've been reading your comments, but I haven't had a chance to answer all of them. And someone was saying that they're discouraged because they only get paid once a month. And so they can't do a lot of um, savings challenges. And, you know... I monetary wise, money wise, I get that. You know, you only have a certain amount of money that you can use. But what I'm going to tell you is um, our home, our household budget runs on two paychecks a month. <clears throat> and um, what I do is I withdraw I take 10% of the paycheck for savings challenges and um, I withdraw that so we get we get a check at the first of the month I withdraw 10% of that and then I separate it out into sorry into two sometimes three savings challenges um not savings challenges but uh like three different theme things a villain uh games and a uh, holiday and i do that i also do that with etsy so i get paid every day from etsy when i have a certain amount of money in my account but i don't withdraw until um, I withdraw around the first of the month and the 15th of the month. And um, I take that those withdrawals that I take out and I divide them by three. So if I have $300, I have $100 for each of three uh, savings videos. So holidays, scratch-offs, and needs and wants. And I mean... You, you may not have a, you may not be able to take out $300. Maybe, maybe from your check, you can only take out um, $99. Okay. I just did that because it, it divides into three really well. So I'm trying to get my, 
Oh, my phone. Come on. I have no idea if this is continuing to videotape. There we go. Yes, it is. Ah. I'm getting notifications on my phone. So I just, so say you can only take out $99. You could divide that into three, 33, 33, 33, and use that for three different uh, savings uh, times. Or you could divide it uh, into two, which that was a mistake. So say it's $100, divide it into two. And you could play $50 on a night of games and $50 the following week on... Um, uh, sinking funds. So it, even if you get paid once a month or twice a month, looking at what you can, you know, reasonably take out of it to use for savings. So reasonably I can do 10%. I do more from my Etsy shop than I do from our household budget because our household budget all all of our bills come out of that. Um, I don't I don't save towards those bills because they just automatically come out of the household checks. So, but uh, my so I can safely take out about ten percent and use that. I I use that for games and say regular savings challenges and so and i do that twice a month so i can play four different times because i split it in half does that make sense so if 10 percent of my pay check is 300 dollars, which it's not but say it is um i can save 150 um I'm sorry, I can save 75 in regular savings challenges and 75 in games. That's two weeks. And then another 75 in something else and another 75 in something else. So that's four times I can play savings challenges. Just a little, you know, peek into, because I, I honestly... Am in the you know the same boat as you as far as being paid uh, being paid once a month or twice a month in my case I don't think let's see we trimmed this I'm so I I'm talking and I'm not telling you what I'm doing but on the last um, villain night I had uh, created some new savings challenges for villains. And I had never actually put them in the book. Um, and so I wanted to do that. But I needed to trim that side down. So, I hope that makes sense. I um, I never, I never want someone to feel like they they can't save something. You know, they can't have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, I still haven't found that. Okay. It, 
you know, that you just can't save it all or you can't have a lot of fun. You just have to kind of be creative with it, right? Like, think about um, how much you have and how you can divide it up. And so what if all you've got is $40 to put into a savings challenge game, a, you know, a binder spread out between several games? You know what? It's 40 bucks that you didn't have for it before. And your future self is going to say, holy cow, thank you so much. All right, we, we need to get going. I have to get dressed and go pick up my grandson from school. That's why I'm doing this early. Um, we'll add that in as we go. So, villains, we have, I have not set up my goals. This was a freebie on the live video. I think it's still available if you want it. And we are using purple dice for, because that feels really villainy to me. A villainy. Okay. Right? Okay. I don't know how many we'll get through, but we'll see what we can do. We're going to play Shut the Box because we love the anxiety of Shut the Box. Six. Oh, who is this? Red Queen. Oh, where'd she go? Cruella. Cruella. Oh, there she is. She's got this terrible pink face. We're going to put her right up front and center, right there. I'll lay her down so you can see her better. Okay. Get my act together, huh? Six. Well, my, my, my. All right. Two. This is not starting off well. Big numbers. Come on. Big numbers. Eight. That's a little better. I have quite a glare today. Nine. That's good. Seven. Four. Okay, we got this. Seven. Oh, we don't have this. Four and three. Nope. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three. I'm only going to play once today because I want to get through them all. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, um, this savings. The, what I save in here, I I think I told you last time that I really wasn't sure where it was going to. Um, but I'm getting a better handle on it. And so I stay tuned, right? Okay, we're going to put a one there. We're playing pink. Plinko, villain Plinko. Five. Six. What will it be? Six. Four dollars. I like this Plinko because it's not... Um, my other Plinko has a ten and an eight. Well, this has an eight, so... $4. We'll play one more time just because we can. Two. 
Uh, Esmeralda is not in this group of villains, by the way. Five. Let's see if our next winner is six. Well, actually, I think all of these are three. Two. Six. Again, Esmeralda. Okay. Five. Six, seven, eight. Um, so last night I started working on March's monthly kit. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Um this game could go on and on and on because there's no, it doesn't just end. So anyway, I was working on orders, trying to get all the last of the February kits out. And I had some ideas for March, so I started it. I did not um, finish them. Okay, I've got to just check because now I hear, nope, okay. Um, so we're just putting in, and I'm going to double today, so that's $2. I'm just uh, rolling the dice and adding and not putting it here. Five, so that's going to make ten. I spoke too soon about doubling. <laughs> so twelve, and that is Ursula. Where's my Ursula, Ursula girl? Yeah, she's pretty creepy. There she is. We have five, ten, fifteen. 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Um, let's see. This is a, this I can roll the dice on too because I have one through six here. So it's just easier and because I do have um, decision fatigue most days. Uh, so it's just kind of nice to have it tell me what to do. This is Cruella. Here she is. She's saving a buck. We'll try one more. And three dollars. We can do one more, I think, guys. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yep. Let's do one more. Five. All right. Uh, let's see what we have. I always want to sing her song. Cruella de Vil. Cruella de Vil. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21. Oh, I guess my husband is up. We do not have to be at another doctor's appointment until Wednesday. How crazy is that? Okay, high number goes across here. Low number goes down. High number, low number, and of course, if you get a villain, you pay $10. <laughs> Ouch. Goodness gracious, Cruella. All right. I keep getting villains on this one. I'm not going to play again. That's a villain wipeout, and I have not wiped out. I've only colored in one regular thing but that's all right so
So I made my, um, I chose to use a binder that is uh, A5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And I really like it. I like the size of it. I like A5 better than the A6. Um, this entire book, except for the two new challenges that I just put in the back, is available as a bundle on my Etsy shop, fairyrosecottage.etsy.com. And the other two, the two new ones are also up there. So you can use them. I mean, you can get them up there. Let, we don't have a, let's just use one of the villains as a marker. We're gonna use the evil queen today. Where did we end? Um, I think I said I was going to ask that. Where did we end? I think we ended. I think we won. So we'll start back up at start. Oops. With a dollar. One, two, three, four. Tornado watch. Three dollars, one dollar. We'll roll one more time today. One, two, of course, six dollars. <laughs> Darn it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And let's put a star here to remind us where we ended. I like to play this as a board game. I know a lot of you mark off the spaces as you go. Um, and I may might do that at some point also. But as a board game, it ends up um, pulling in quite a bit of money. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. Um, that you wouldn't normally expect it to. You know, it happens quickly. I guess someone is here. Um... Maleficent is two dollars, so let's put in two. Where's my Maleficent gal? Right there. Her, um, her horns are quite large. Oh, we have two. I think. Okay, hold on just a second because there is definitely someone here. I'm just going to be a bit nosy. funny because I don't see anything. Oops, I just lost my slipper and my other one. Where I... 
Christmas. I'm here, guys. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I guess I will just stay in here unless I'm summonsed. The next one is this. I love playing this one. I just roll the dice and add the money. And these add up pretty quick too. Sometimes I double them, sometimes not. I'm not today. I didn't the last time either. So just trying to stay consistent with that. I'm gonna put seven in. I usually try to do a couple of them. All the villains are there. Um, now this is a roll two dice and color in the sum. You could play this like uh, um, I have eight. You could play this like shut the box. But I decided I didn't want to. And I don't know how much it adds up to. I could figure that out really quick, but I don't know. Eight. Okay. Oh, whoops. Wrong envelope, guys. Um, you can also get the... Oh, man. I just happened to think. A few of you have asked me for the bundle of envelopes for $12 and I forgot to put them up didn't I oh I'm so sorry I will try to remember that okay I'm rolling two dice on her isn't she gorgeous I think this is my favorite one it's $11 um, as far as graphics She's just gorgeous. Five, ten, eleven. And then we have the Queen of Hearts. And we're just going to do a couple. Each one of these is worth a dollar. So let's finish this one off. And at the end, you'd save $64. So this will be a short one to, if I wanted it to be. I think it's one of Scott's brothers. Um, okay, we're going to do Clue next. All right, let's see. Roll the dice three times. It's a six, so it's gonna be Scar. Another six with a magical potion. He takes the magical potion and hides it. Oops, not in Wonderland. The castle. Six, twelve, and five. That's a lot. Seventeen. Five. So he's the winner so far. Scar. Did I get Scar? Oh, I did get Scar in here. There he is. He's very mean. <laughs> twelve, five, seventeen. Yeah. Now, I don't have envelopes that I can put this in, so we'll just paper clip it and then I'll get some envelopes this week. Okay, we have a one. And a four. 
for five dollars and I'm just gonna I played this one other time I like how I did the made them with the friends because they are indeed friends and I was gonna play the villain cards but I feel like I don't have them in here I do not. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. So this is a good 52-week one um, because there's 52 cards. So you could play... I'm going to take the jokers out because I didn't include the jokers in here. You could play um, four times a month and get 52 yeah I'm gonna roll the dice and see how much each one of these is going to be worth so the aces are five dollars the kings are four the queens are two and the jacks are five okay I'm not going to do it as a 52 because I'm already doing one as a 52 in my monthlies. I'm doing my uh, one with Tinkerbell and Mickey Mouse. So this one will just take our time and do. These villain cards are from Bicycle. They're bicycle cards. And the villains are only on the... um face cards which is kind of disappointing but it is what it is okay so four dollars and four dollars eight dollars let's see let's um we have the king of clubs And the King of Diamonds, Facilier, and Scar. Scar keeps showing up, doesn't he? And we're just going to put these in back, too, for now. And then I'll get an envelope and get, get organized. Eight, right? One, two, three and eight. I think that that works just fine. Um, we need a paper clip. I'm semi-organized, guys. Not completely, but you know. Getting there. There, we'll put that one right there. Then we have a couple of ones in here. I have from Blessed Daisy Budgets. And I don't know why that's paper clipped on there. It doesn't have to be. It can just be in here. These are from Jackie from Blessed Daisy Budgets. They were a gift. And look, it was a killer right from the beginning. Two tens. Six. Uh, she told me that they would be two through ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. But what she did not tell me is that they were all tens. No. Oh. I know that they're not, but sorry, I'm shaking the camera. Oh, good. This one's a five. <laughs> Jackie. I gave her a hard time about it. Okay, let's put that in. Right. And... 
have this game. This is from her also. Um, I'm not going to use a multiplier card today. I'm just going to use the I'm just going to use the regular card. Scar. Boy, he really does keep showing up today, doesn't he? I guess I need a need to make a challenge with Scar on it. I know I'm shaking, you guys. I hope you don't get seasick. Let's see. Three hyenas and one more. Keep Scar happy. Save a total of four. Aw, oh, that's cute. Three hyenas plus one more. Keep Scar happy. Save a total of four. How clever. How clever. One, two, three, four. And I'm just putting these cards back in because, like she said, you could just go ahead and if you pull it again, then just use it again. But at this point, I may not. I may wait until I'm all done. Whoops. And then we have this one, which is really tricky because I have no idea how much is under any of these. <laughs> there was a 10 the last time. Two. One, two. So they could be really high. Oh, that's not bad. It's a five. Okay. I'll take that one. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. Let's do one more, guys. <laughs> In here. Do I dare? I think I do. I think I do. Two. One, two. Another five. Yes. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. That's good. I feel good about that. I was a little worried. Now I have two dollars. Let's do Cruella. No, let's do let's do Maleficent. Another two for the rose for Briar Rose. Okay, folks, that is it on this beautiful. Friday. I hope that you have a lovely weekend. I will see you tomorrow um, because we have lots of savings challenges to do. Oh, tomorrow is Pink Saturday. Not, It's not a live. It's just a regular video, but we're working on the pink on the pink challenges. So, thanks for being here, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the villains. Remember, you can get them up in my shop. Um, you can buy them separately or as a bundle. And you can also buy it as a printed and laminated uh, book. So, but it's not bound or hole punched. It's just printed and laminated. I will see you real soon. Bye. Happy savings.